Welcome to Casting Cajun. I'm your host, Tony Fano. Trout fishing out of Jug's Landing in Terrio, Louisiana today with my good buddy, Jason Terry. Taking us fishing is Captain Chris Venable with Top Line Fishing Charters and his son, Blake. So get ready for an exciting half hour with Casting Cajun. Don't tell anyone about Chris's secret bait. You want to get up there with your dad, but Blake says he's the first one, Tony. Huh? Blake says he's the first one to put a fish to boat. Today. Okay. This spot usually is a good spot with, with, with some tidal movement. There's nothing, no tide moving at all. What's your favorite kind of fish to catch? Trout. You like to catch trout? How about redfish? Yeah. Why do you like to catch trout? I don't know why. Because they're fun to catch. What's your favorite bait? I don't even know what they're What's your called? favorite rod? Um, I guess this kind. Who's your favorite fishing captain? Dad. Dad. <laughs> That's good. He's on nowhere's logs, he said. Fishing on. Hey, he got in the first one. He said he would. Get him in the boat, Blake! Get him in, bud. Over the side. Over here. Let's not lose the first fish. He didn't say it had to be a keeper. He just said he, he would just get the first, the first one. one. You might want to go to the right there, too. Let's see if, we might, if he even makes it, Blake. He may even make it. First fish may go in the box. Yep. Yep, all right. I'm over. There you go. Oh, he got him one. He does. He got another one. Yeah, what color he's using? Purple haze. What's that for? Another piece of ice. Good trout. Good trout. Good job. Looks like the deckhand's catching all the fish today. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> you're right. Who are we? Watch out, bud. Hey, you're right. That's what we're looking for. That's the ones we're looking for. Looks like it's just the Venables catching fish today. <laughs> Come on, Jason. They're smoking us. Time for y'all to start helping. We'll try. That's 
Brian who passed over. We were gonna idle by him and he said they almost had their limit stopping fish, so here we are. Uh, he just got another one. Hey, he just put two in since we've been here. Well, they're about to get their 50. Fish on, Chris. All right, I was changing my bait and you pulling the fish in. Nice one, Chris. Yep, clear bait, doing it to him again. Fish on. All right, Captain Chris. I switched to an avocado because that's what the other <laughs> boat limited out on. And Still hitting the clear. Chris is catching one the clear. Still hitting the clear. Nice fish, too. Oh, yeah. Nice try. Another nice one for the box. Hey, Blake. Oh, yeah. Him in the boat there, Blake. Swing him in. Swing him in. Good job. Over here. One more cast and I'm gonna put it gonna hook clear it? back on. Alright. Pressure's on now, man. Hmm. Good boy. Put him in the box. There we go, DC. There you go, Chris. Good one. Another keeper. A little bit smaller, but I think he'll make 12. A little for bit sure. smaller, but I think he'll make the box. Turn out this row on top. There it is. Barely oh, yeah. Double hookup. That's the, oh, I lost mine. You lost yours? All right, Blake, don't lose yours, buddy. Mr. Tony lost his. Let's Don't see if Blake can get Justin his. Tony. Oh, that was a good oh, one. Good nice. fish. Swing him in. Good job. Nice fish, man. This will be the Venable show. <laughs> show you how you get that. Daddy, little, his finger's stick, probably stick longer. Stick your finger in there. Can push on it. Right there you there. go. Come right out of there. And that's how it's done. Want to go rub that on Mr. Tony so he can see if get he can get one on the boat? <laughs> <laughs> Fish on. I had to slow it down to barely a crawl. I got one. I'll just have to measure him and see if he'll go 12 inches. Oh, I think so. Oh, yeah. Maybe 13. Tell me what you're doing, buddy. Setting up, setting up some hooks for the trout. What you using? Um, I'm using a sparkle beetle. Let me see you do it. Fish on. Coming in. Come on, baby. You made it. Good day. Yeah, Captain. This winter's been a little crazy. It's a uh, winter one day, summer the next day, so the fish have been acting a little different too. I think it's yeah, this, this winter's been a lot different than the last few winters we had. We're not traditionally fishing our, our holes that we normally fish this time of the year with the warm weather coming in and going, and, and the fish are just on the move. So, so be persistent, because just because they're not here right now or today, just come back and check them tomorrow. I mean, it's been, it's been hit and miss the last few days, but usually when you find them, you'll find them piled up, just like we have today. It's, I think so, the fish are just as confused as us. Right, it's 11.30 in the day, we really fish in every cast. I'm reeling one in Tony's now. Tony's got one as we speak. But as confusing as it is, Captain Chris will figure it out. <laughs> Paying your dues, man. That's a good fish. Just 
let it sit on the bottom and barely drag it. When they hit it, I don't even set the hook. I just keep one reeling like this. See, I got another one. Oh, I just missed him. I should have set the hook. <laughs> It's funny because they not the last two I caught didn't even didn't even tap it. They just no, uh, the one I caught didn't either. Just pressure. It was just on it. Yep, just, I just feel kept the reeling pressure. slow and he was hooked. We weren't expecting a spectacular day today because the conditions aren't that good. There's hardly any tide at all. There is a little bit. And uh, everybody's been leaving at daybreak and getting out here for the last few days and not catching fish until around lunchtime. So we decided to sleep in, didn't leave the house until nine. Looks like it's paying off. There we go, DC. No, I got Double one. hook up. I got one of my, my own. Double hook up. <laughs> this one feels like a decent one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Now we figured out the pattern. You gotta let it hit the bottom. Just drag it really slow. Open that up a second. 